My name is Boni Tunya. This is business. The Nairobi Securities Exchange turned 60 years old yesterday with promises of great things to come. But this could be a year of mixed results for the bus. Here's Gatian Zardek Changole. The threat of terrorism in Kenya continues to raise concerns over the state of the economy. Key sectors like tourism are on their knees as visitors shy away from Kenya's coast, which is a pillar of the industry. On the other side, the securities market continues to register mixed results. We saw the returns for last year were good, but this year we've seen that the stock exchange has not been performing as well as it. We have seen some uh, the NSC20 losing value, but right now we are stable at 4,900, though in February we had reached the 5,000. We can call it the psychological mark. In recent months, the market has witnessed a series of sell-offs, taking down with it the key market performance indicator, the NSE 20 share index. According to analysts, investors have offloaded nearly a billion shillings worth of stock in a move that has seen foreign investor participation decline from about 60% in 2013 to about 52% this year. The percentage of participation is at 51 to 52 percent. So yeah, we saw a little bit of net sales. So though with 51 percent, they still hold a, a good share. But while sectors like tourism have taken a direct hit, the securities exchange has defied the tensions, posting buoyant results and attracting increased participation at the beginning of quarter two of 2014. The impact has not been that big, but in the long run, I believe it's not good for the economy and the NSC. What the investor is, 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 is concerned about is a return on his investment, and the question is, is the, business, the underlying business sound? Analysts also reckon the NSC performance will be lifted by planned listing at the market as companies raise funds to capitalize on Kenya's economic fundamentals. Adelaide Changole, KTN Business.